<laughs> hey, what is going on, crypto people? So once, so since we've had the launch of FXRP on Flare Mainnet, a lot of people I've seen a lot of people been asking, well, what can I do? What can I do with this FXRP? So I'm gonna go over one thing that you can do. But first, I want to let you know if you're not certain on how to mint and redeem, you can check out this video here that I did. I uploaded it to my X page. So um, just go to at crypto underscore CEEJ. <clears throat> at crypto underscore CEEJ is all lowercase. And pinned to that page is a YouTube video on how to mint and redeem. And also two places to go. Where do you go to mint and redeem? Here's one. Here's my favorite. They are both awesome. They both work in my experience flawlessly. So pinned to the page at crypto underscore CEEJ will be the how to's and where to. Okay. So it's how to mint and redeem. Uh, by the way, uh, the cap's been reached. So that's, then there's that. So, but it'll, it'll, there'll be a new cap. So the cap was reached in less than four hours. Um, I think it was $5 million, uh, all community driven, massive demand, uh, for this product. And here it is for us. So there it is. Just remember that. So the place I'm going to talk about to do something with your FXRP, let me do this first. So on, um, on both the mint pages, where am I at here on both the mint pages at the bottom, this is the Oracle Damon one at the bottom. There's this right here. Look, these are the places to go to do something with your, your FXRP. You can lend only FXRP here. I don't think the borrow against it is available yet. Only lend, right? The lend is similar to, but it is not staking. You are essentially providing a certain portion of your XRP to be borrowed against. So you're lending your FXRP so other people um, can do things with it. So in liquidity pools, for example. So you're going to lend there. You're going to get a target APR is 5%. Okay, so you just... Again, similar to staking, but it's not staking. You're not borrowing against it. You're not locking it up in a staking bonding period. Uh, you're not doing any of those two things right now. You can you just lend it there. You just deposit it, and you're lending it, and so people can do things like swap and trade and enter in liquidity pools, et cetera, et cetera. And they reward you not only an RFLR, but I think a target APR for this is five five percent. Smart decks is uh, where you would enter illiquidity pairs, okay? You would enter, you would go to farms, your pools, enter liquidity pairs, okay? So um, I forget which one pools is one thing and farms another. I think farms are the platforms, um, incentives, pools is another thing. So in any case, um, I think is how it goes. Spark decks, you can click on these from the bottom of the minting page. You can click on these. You can click on Kinetic to go there. You can click on um, Spark Dex. Click Open App. It'll take you to each one. Uh, I didn't have success with um, Enosis, and I didn't try Blaze Swap, but you can click there. I went to Kinetic and I went to Market. I lent on Kinetic. I've entered in a liquidity pool on Spark Dex. Right? Um, not much. Hundred bucks between the hundred bucks between the two. Two hundred bucks between the two. I think it was a hundred and a hundred. Okay, 20 bucks, you can do not much. Maybe you want to start smaller than that, right? And so again, don't chase the game, let the game come to you, right? It's important. So you start out with small amounts, whatever that small amount looks like uh, for you. So, and I split it up 50-50, uh, 100 bucks here, 100 bucks there. So just to let you know, you can click open app and it's going to take you right there, right? From the minting and redeeming page. Again, these links are linked on my X page at crypto underscore CEJ. Here's one mint place to go. Here's another mint place to go. This is my favorite one, the Oracle Damon one. But you choose whatever one you like. They're both flawlessly, in my experience, to use. All right. So we're going to go over to Spark Dex and we're going to enter in some liquidity pool and enter a liquidity pair on Spark Dex, the one for FXRP. How do you find that? You go to farm and you can check them out here. Um, yeah, you go to farm, check them out here. So here it is right here, FXRP USDT zero liquidity pair, right? There it is there. It's up to 30, 130, it's 125% now, I better um, get into that. So you just click view, 
you click add. And so, you know what, let me go back and look at view just so, so you can see it. Uh, right here, you mouse over the up to 125% APR. These things are gonna change, they're gonna go down, they're gonna go up, they're gonna go down even more, they go up more, you know, that type of deal. So it changes, right? Based on the amount of liquidity, et cetera, et cetera. It's up to 809,000 in liquidity. It was 700 and something about an hour and a half ago. So RFLR is 122% in RFLR, which is rewards FLR um, for participating in the liquidity pool, participating. The fee has gone up to 2.5% in rewards, which is really cool. It was 1%. Now it's up to 2%. It has now doubled, which is really, really cool. And that's how you get 125% in the APR. So the fee is from people who use a DEX to trade and swap. Um, you get paid those fees for for doing that if you're in this liquidity pool. So that's really, really cool. So I'm going to um, click view. I don't need to go over the obvious stuff, right? Like connecting your wallet and things like that. We're going to add some liquidity to this liquidity pair, right? So we're going to hit add. And so it defaults to dual deposit. That is what you want. He says here, FXRP and USDT zero. And what you're going to need to do is uh, if, you, if you have FXRP in your wallet, you're going to need to swap a certain amount of that into USDT zero. So let's go to swap. You can see I have 35 FXRP, right? And I'm going to swap half of it. I'm going to swap half of this 35 so that we have a nice weighted balance, equal weighted balance in order to um, enter this liquidity pool. Uh, let me check my Bifrost wallet, make sure it's up. Um, we're ready to go. Because if you don't do it, sometimes um, that transaction won't go through. So, um, it's up. It should work now. Sometimes you got to connect and reconnect. So I'm what I'm doing here is approving the spend of F, F, FXRP. And uh, I'm hoping transaction fail was can't. I didn't cancel it. Uh, let me disconnect and try it again. Let me connect the wallet. So what I do end up doing is I end up connecting, then I end up researching and researching and researching. <laughs> the 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 wallet goes, um, you know, kind of dead. And yeah, that's kind of that stuff like that. So let me do it this time. Let's see if I get the message. I got the message here on my wallet. By click confirm, you allow this D app to access your FXRP. It costs about a penny to do so. I'm going to approve it in the wallet. Close it. FXRP approved. Now I get to swap. Uh, so I am going to, I did have, so let's do that. Confirm the swap. Gives, gives you all the information that you need. Baby, can you text uh, baby girl? I don't know. Thank you. So uh, that... And swapping succeeded 17 FXRP for $51 in USDT zero. It's done deal. And then you go to go back uh, to, you can go farm if you like. And then you can go view it again if you like. Then you can hit add, or you could have just went directly to the pool. So it is right there, FXRP USDT zero, right? Now you got four options in terms of your strategy. Make sure you're, you're in the right fee tier, which was 0.05%. You can go full range and probably, you know, full range is less in fee earnings, but you stay in range longer. It's really ideal for people just beginning. Safe is another good one for people just beginning, but you're going to earn uh, more in fees because you have a tighter range than a full, than a full range, right? So they're safe. There's a common one there, um, which is again, um, you got a little bit more experience. You're gonna earn more in fees, you know. Then you gotta, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to monitor the pool a little bit more than safe or full range to make sure you're in range, okay? To make sure you're in range. So I am gonna do common. I'm not gonna do expert. I'm gonna do common for now. Um, Thirty percent is pretty good. So I'm gonna go with that. And down here, minimum USDT per FXRP. Uh, as these are the prices. Two thousand um, for per XRP, two sixty five. 
to three dollars and fifty cents. So minimum two dollars and something uh, for FXRP, which is the price of XRP, up to three dollars and fifty three cents. That is the range. Um, and for for me right now, that's a really really good range. Um, so again, that was the common range set default there, right? Common. So, um, price in FXRP, right? That's the thing, the range you're tracking, you're tracking the price of XRP. So I'm saying that I don't think XRP is going to get below $2.64 and it's not going to get above $3.53 in the next day, week, two weeks, three weeks, right? So let me approve this FXRP here. Confirm it in the wallet. FXRP is approved. The thing is really, um, and the reason why I didn't have to do USDT zero approved because I've already approved for the spend of UST, USDT zero when I entered um, another liquidity pool before, months ago. So now I'm just going to click add liquidity, right? Going to click add liquidity. Going to confirm this is this you will receive here is the LP token liquidity pair token representation of you entering in the pool. And technically, it's your um, your share of the pool. So as well, so I'll approve it. Uh, yeah, thing is screaming right now. Add liquidity succeeded, and you can tell here. Here's my um. Uh, pool right here. Oh, they got it. Nice. They got to set up highest to lowest. That's cool. Spark Decks, love you guys, man. Love what you guys doing with your platform, man. I'm telling you, love what you guys are doing. So, uh, you know, highest to lowest here. That's really, really cool. Um, you can see there's manage. You can see they're in end range. You see these are active, currently being active. And um, I got some liquidity pools. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that I have... Um, uh, um, what I, and locked, I locked up liquidity some way, way back yonder. Let me see if it will show that there. It says no locks found. Did I unlock it? I don't think I unlocked that. Hmm. Anyway, I'll have to check that out later. I was fairly certain. But uh, let me do this. LP token list. Hmm. Hmm. I thought I had it locked. Until a certain time frame. Huh. Huh. I'll have to check that later. Um, oh, this is V2. Let's go back to V3. There it is. These are the locked ones. Okay. I was on V2 there. It was V3 I needed to be on. So I locked some stuff as well. Just on a freaking side uh, note. So let me go back here to the pool. Um, and so there they are there they'll show up there very intuitive very easy to use if you guys got any questions don't hesitate to reach out to me on x for sure i appreciate you guys i'm gonna hop off here and uh listen i will talk to you guys soon see ya bye